Okay, hi there, welcome to a video looking at the simple multiplier effect. So the multiplier is a really key concept in macroeconomics. What is the multiplier? Well, it's a number. It's a bit like elasticity, it is a number. But it also describes a process by which one person's spending is somebody else's income and money and income and output and income circulate around the circular flow. The multiplier is a number. It measures the final change in national income that comes about from an initial change in one of the components of aggregate demand. It could be exports, investments, government spending and so on. Now, what's the formula for the multiplier in a simple economy? That's a closed economy with no government. A closed economy means no trade. No government means we can ignore government spending and taxation. Well, in a closed uh, economy with no government, there is only one leakage from the circular flow, and that is saving. That's disposable income, which people don't spend. <clears throat> so the multiplier of the formula is one divided by the marginal propensity to save. The higher is that propensity, uh, the more money leaks out of the system every time money goes around the circular flow. So the multiplier is one over the marginal propensity to save, well, we know that the marginal propensity to consume and to save must equal one. Disposable income can be spent or saved. So therefore, MPC plus MPS equals one. Therefore, we can write the multiplier as one over one minus MPC because rearranging the marginal propensity to save is one minus the marginal propensity to consume. So the multiplier is one divided by brackets one minus the marginal propensity to consume. So here's a good example. Can you calculate the value of the multiplier using the simple version of the multiplier formula? Well, let's take a closed economy with no government sector. The marginal propensity to save is 0 0.2. What's the value of the multiplier? Well, the multiplier is 1 divided by the marginal propensity to save. We know that's 0 0.2. So the multiplier is 1 divided by 0 0.2, which equals 5. <clears throat> that's a high value, 5 because there's only one leakage, and that leakage is 0 0.2. Now, what happens if we increase the marginal propensity to save to 0 0.4? Well, the multiplier is 1 divided by the MPS. So it's now 1 divided by 0 0.4, which equals 2.5. So an increase in the marginal propensity to save causes the value of the multiplier to go down. An increase in the rate of leakage, withdrawal from the circular flow, causes the value of the multiplier to go down. Uh, here's a, a rearranging. In a closed economy with no government sector, the marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.9. What is the new value of the multiplier? Well, we know that the marginal propensity to consume plus the marginal propensity to save equals 1. Therefore, the marginal propensity to save is simply 1 minus the MPC. That's just rearranging the formula. We know that the MPC is 0.9. Uh, therefore, the multiplier is 1 over MPS. We just need to find the MPS. The multiplier will be 1 over 0.1, which equals 10. So the marginal propensity to consume is 0.9. We know that the marginal propensity to save is 0.1. And we can use either, either formula to get the value of 10. High value, even higher than before, because the propensity to save is 0.1 instead of 0.2. In the next video, we'll look at the extended multiplier effect.